All right, good morning, people of YouTube. So we are coming off of a top four finish from the Evolution Cup that my locals held. Um, I was playing Black Base Nume, only losing in the event to Red Hybrid, which was a very, very close game and something that I absolutely wish that I was filming. Uh, but shout out to my buddy Joe, who won the event with that deck. Um, our match was incredible, and I hope you enjoy your Winner's Magma. Uh, but I was playing Black Base Nume. I think this is the most consistent way to play the deck. Um, and yeah, we'll just go ahead and get into the card by card since a lot of you guys already know what Nume does. If you like this kind of content, make sure you guys like and subscribe. Uh, and without further ado, my Digitama are going to be the 4 Suno and the 1 Toko. Uh, Toko is absolutely useless. But uh, Suno is absolutely incredible. This is the main reason that you want to be playing Black Base. Uh, because your Black Rookies do the same thing that the Purple Rookies do. Um... But you can evolve a new Maimon on top of, like, a Floodgate or something uh, and draw a card for Evo, draw a card off of every one of these that you have in play. So there are a lot more positions where you can unbreak your hand if you ever have to. Um, and I think the black base just does all the same things that the purple base is doing, uh, but offers a little bit more consistency. So these are the eggs that I am playing. Uh, and then we are playing for the rookies, four copies of Uko because it's broken, uh, three copies of Chumon because this came up all day. This was in here mostly for Mirage, but it turned out that this card shut off boost all day. Um, Uko's in mirror matches that had those. Um, Chumon was just overwhelmingly fantastic, uh, especially in my Leviah matchup. And then we have four copies of the starter deck Aku because gaining a bunch of memory is key. And then one copy of Agumon X. I didn't want to play any more than this because I don't. I'm not playing Cool Boy. Um, but having a way to dig into Nume X and Monte X is pretty nice. Um, this came up once for the event, but being able to evolve on top of the Agumon to get extra draws uh, came up very frequently. So for the champions, we are playing four copies of Nume X because it's broken. Uh, we are playing four copies of Garymon because this is our main consistency piece. We are playing four copies of the BT14 Nume because having access to this card is super important. You always want to be able to play one. Um, and you're discarding Nume pieces for a lot of effects, so you will just discard this at some point in the game. Um, but you want to have that inheritable blocker. So this is the one that you're pulling back a lot of the times whenever you need that skill because this will turn blocker on th for things like your Venusmon. Um, and that's really important. We are playing two copies of the RB1 Nume, um, just for the, just for a yellow source, really, for Chimera. And then we are playing, uh, one copy of the BT15 Garymon as a secret spicy tech against decks like Mirage. Um, because this card is just fantastic. Typically they can bounce a bunch of your bodies, but they won't be able to get rid of everything. And then all you have to do is block with something that will pull back a Nume, and then you pull back this, and then suddenly they can't kill you. Um, it's really funny, and it's a really good card to tech in as a one of four decks like that. Uh, but yeah, that's it for the level fours. For the level fives, uh, we are going with four copies of Monza X. If you are going to put one card in this deck... To, on the banned and restricted list, um, I would limit Monza X to one. This is the card that basically makes this deck super broken, um, allows you to go wide, kill anything. Uh, this card came up all day, and the fact that it can evolve into Venusmon whenever you're done means that they can't crack back against you. This card is absolutely insane. Uh, we are playing four copies of the good Monza from RB1. Uh, minus DP is really good, and giving things sec attack minus is also really good. Uh, combos really well with Venus again. We are playing one copy of the Warumanze because it is a black Digimon and because it can't evolve into Venus. Um, I see a lot of people playing too, um, and I agree with that if you aren't as focused on Venusmon as this list is, because uh, Venusmon was the MVP for that for the entire tournament. Um, it won me the most games, and having this card not be able to go into Venus directly does kind of suck, but this is really useful for like Rapids and Mega Gargos. Um, but if you have this, then, you know, the Venus play is still live, which is really fantastic. And the security attack boost from all your inheritable Monzes is really good. So I really like this, uh, this bear lineup. And then we are playing one more level five. We are playing Chimeramon. Um, I saw this card it's way more than I should have for the event. I think I won like five or six games off of just the back of this card alone. Um, there, I just kept drawing it. I just kept using it. And this card is always, always good. Um... Yeah, you don't need to, because uh, just do what I do and just draw it. <laughs> but for the level sixes, we got three copies of Platinum. 
I think three is kind of standard. Uh, you could play four, but I wanted to include three copies of Venus Mon because this this card kind of beats your worst matchups. Um, it's really good into Red Hybrid if you can get into it. It's really good into Mirage, especially Mirage. Um, I was able to beat my Leomon matchup, which should be an auto loss because they bottom deck all of your Numemons, um, because I was able to evolve into this card like three turns in a row. Um, Venus Mon will win you games that you shouldn't win, and I think playing any less than two is a mistake, especially in a deck like this. Um, three was just absolutely mandatory for me for the day. And then the last Digimon in the deck, we have one of Ruin Mode and one of Death X. Uh, Ruin Mode was very good all day. Death X never came up, um, which, you know, in my testing, Death X has come up a lot. But just specifically for that tournament, I didn't use it. But yeah, that's it for the uh, Digimon. Going into the last couple cards in the deck, we got the two copies of Satsuki. Uh, even though we are playing four copies of the Numimon that plays this card, we are only playing two of this. Uh, you only need to get the rush play off, like, once, and sometimes you don't even need to do that in order to win. Uh, but having constant access to jamming and reboot and being able to slap one of these down for free at some point in the game to just establish extra memory is really nice. Uh, most of my turns, I was starting at at least five memory, even though my opponents were trying to choke me. Uh, just because of effects like Ukomon, Agumon, and this card, um, this deck just gains so many memory, so much memory that it's not even funny. Um, and then we got the one of Protoform, the one of Iron Fisted Onslaught, and the one of Heaven's Judgment. So I guess starting mm -hmm. off, Protoform is the one that everybody knows. I really wish I was playing more copies of this card for this event. Um, it was one of those cards that every time I saw it, it was really, really good. And there were a couple times that I had Monze X, but no Monze, and I really wanted this card to be able to resolve full effect. Um, but as for the Iron Fist Onslaught and Heaven's Judgment, I don't feel like these cards are as needed, but there are a lot of Mirage players in my locals. Um, I dodged them all for this event, but um, you really need ways to be able to clear a Mirage, or a Mirage Galgamon if they go into it early. And chances are, since they're bouncing something, you aren't going to have enough bodies to get the full reduction off of Monza X, um, which is where these cards kind of came in. This card was actually really good um, in a majority of my matchups today. Um, and I think I resolved Heavens twice. Um, this card was really essential for clearing Boncho Leo in that matchup. But I I had to go into all of my stops to beat that matchup. That was a matchup I absolutely should have lost. Uh, shout out to Aiden if you're watching this. Uh, you pilot that deck really well. Um, but yeah, these cards are... These cards are nice, they are the most cuttable, but I do like having removal options um, to have a chance to come back into the game, because sometimes, in order to break a board in this deck, you need a full board in order to be able to do that with a Monze X, um, and sometimes you just can't do that. So this these cards are very nice for situations like that. But yeah, that's it for the list. Um, I My only loss was against the winner of the event, who was playing Red Hybrid. Um, I beat Leomon, I beat Leviah X, and I beat Imperial. Um, the Imperial player was also uh, doing very well. Shout out to you, Brett. Um, you are a fantastic pilot of the deck, even without the new support. Uh, you still make that deck terrifying, and I'm excited to see what you do in the next set. Um, but he kept going into Pyildra and like bottom decking all of my uh, Nume pieces, and I was like, you know what? Uh, I'm just going to hit you with Venus, like, three turns in a row, and then a Ruin mode, and made him unable to play. And that was, like, literally the only way I could seal that game. Um, Levia, it was one of those things that he kept dropping a bunch of boosts, and I go, Chumon, deal with this. And he had to, like, make inoptimal plays to get into his line, um, because I was blocking his memory gain. Um, and it was, it was really nice, especially when I got the second Chumon out against him, um... And yeah, it was one of those things that because of my, I won off the back of floodgates in that game. Uh, and then Venus won me the Leo matchup, like basically single-handedly. Um, except for the one time that I had to like Heaven's Judgment to kill the Boncho, um, which again, removal is great for matchups like that. Um, but yeah, that's the list. It's one of those things that this deck just goes really, really fast and a lot of things can't contest it. Um, your worst matchup, in my opinion, is Mirage. Um, and, uh, I'm thankful that I dodged it because, uh, I get this cool Magnemon now. 
But yeah, that's about all I have to say. We're not going to drag this video out any longer than it needs to be, but we will see you all in the new format. Take it easy, everyone.